today we are going to paint a drawing that I did the other night. So in the evenings, I often like to just sit in front of the TV and kind of sketch whatever is on my brain. And this week I have been drawing my husband's face on dinosaurs, sketching dinosaurs, read Jurassic Park as a book club book, which was pretty good actually. I'd never read it, I've just seen the movie. And I have since then been inspired to doodle dinosaurs. And my husband just loves it when I put his face on things. Anything. He thinks it's hilarious. He's a super fan of it. So I've done a couple of different dinosaurs with his face on it. And he does love them. He is planning on, if it comes out good, using this as his work picture, which tickles me. I'm just using, I have my regular watercolor set packed away. So I'm kind of experimenting with something I put together. I think this is actually Mindy Lacefield's palette um, that she put out in one of her videos a while ago. And I thought that would, some of the colors look like they would really work. So, I've also been doing some research on dinosaurs, and it turns out that dinosaurs, they think some of them might have been feathered, some of them might have been brightly colored like birds. There's a whole bunch of dinosaurs that I didn't know of. For example, this dinosaur is like a triceratops, but it's not actually a triceratops. As you can see, the head's more squished and it's taller. And the, I'm gonna call them bones, but I'm not sure that's what they're called. The, the spike structure is a little bit different than the original triceratops I knew of as a child. I read a fact about dinosaurs that the scientists are discovering approximately one new dinosaur per week right now. So lots of changes, lots of renaming. So right now I'm just trying to get some fun I feel like this dinosaur would have some browns and some orangey colors. Oh, that's pretty. I'm just trying to, in the beginning, I just like to map in where I think I might want what colors and I'll come back and do some glazing and some layers. So that is a good start. I'm going to need that to completely dry before I can go back in. Okay, I pulled some color pencils, watercolor pencils, to go back in with. In the meantime, I put a little fan on here. That speeds up the drying. You definitely, definitely 
don't want to do a hair dryer that'll damage your paper. And it's best if you can be super patient and let everything just dry on its own. That is not my strength. <laughs> so I kind of meet in the middle and just use a fan without any heat so that it won't damage the paper. And I don't see any color dulling with the fan like you can kind of see when you use a blow dryer. I'm just coming in, I'm going to brighten some colors, get some sharp edges in here. I'm going to go in and soften some of these lines. Some stuff I'm going to super blend out, while other stuff I will leave some. I really want these blue eyes to stand out and be blue. So just went in with a little bit of Posca, let that dry. These are just regular color pencils. It's the most, yeah, personal color. I like to have lots of different materials within arm's length when I'm working so I can just grab some different materials as needed. And at some point I smudged the eye. a little white go around there and some whites in his eyes anyways and then a little highlight here a little highlight there I'm gonna take some teal Reflect it in the face just a little bit. And those glasses do just a little bit of a light blue shimmer to kind of give the illusion that he's wearing glasses. Blend out some of that tail in the face. Go in here, make sure my pencil's nice and sharp for this. Draw some of those hairs back in. At some point we lost some of our lines. An old white Sharpie. This is acrylic paint, not oil based. I bought these a while ago. I think you could use a Posca. I don't know where my white Posca is. I'm really gonna get in that horn and try and lighten that edge because I want that to come forward not back. I'm gonna go back over this with some color. That did not work. Okay. 
maybe do a little dotting, a little shine on the toenails. Some speckles of some of this pretty blue in here. So taking my watercolor pencil, wet brush, just really getting in here and doing some little flecks. If it gets anywhere I don't want it, we'll just go and remove it. But I think that this needs a little more texture. Especially up here. You can see I got some here I don't really want. We'll just pull that off up here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and dry that again. Okay, and I see some spots I want to work on. Looking down around the toes, I see some darker skin. glasses would definitely have a little bit of a reflection on them. I'm sure I like that red through the eye, but that's okay. Just can leave that there. There you go. Let's see. Maybe we need some orange in here. Some like super textury like knock your socks off. Really get some color back here. So I'm gonna cover this. Yeah. Wet a brush. Do a little more drying one more time. Get a little drawing back here. Nothing special, just some errant lines. So I'm just holding this layout, twisting it. some texture in there, maybe a little shading. I really just love sometimes at the end just bringing this to below. I really define some of these features that I want to make sure nice and clear. And they said, eh, I don't know how well this will show up. This is that floral pen, fluo pencil, neon yellow. Just repeating some of the colors in a few spots. Never want. Some of these colors to just show up in one place. You want to reflect them. That dry, but I'm pretty happy with them. Thank you for painting with me today and happy yarding.